All eyes are now on Georgia and the Senate runoff between Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock just 13 days from today. And joining us now is Pennsylvania Senator and Newsmax a senior political analyst Rick Santorum. Sir, thanks for joining us this morning. So former yeah. President Obama sets a campaign for Raphael Warnock on the first day of next month. Um, we know he's going there, but what are, what are the Republicans going to do for Herschel Walker, you think? Well, obviously, raising them a lot of, him a lot of money is very, very important. Uh, there are senators going down there, other presidential wannabes going down there. Who's not going down there, for, as far as I know, is uh, is Donald Trump or Joe Biden. Uh, so that's that's really interesting. That and not surprising though. Both candidates want to keep their their focus on Georgia and 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 not try to be wrapped up too much in in the presidential politics of 2024. Uh, so I think you'll see both of neither Biden nor uh, nor Trump down there. But I think you'll see other interestingly other unannounced candidates and folks like uh, uh, Barack Obama, who has a history of being able to uh, to amp up a particularly African-American turnout for Democrats. Senator, we were talking about this election day. Uh, OK, so it, Republicans now we know have lost the two Senate seats in Arizona and Nevada. Uh, so I, I guess the narrative was that, OK, Georgia becomes mildly interesting. How important is Georgia for 2024? Because 21 Democrats will be running for re-election in the Senate in 2024, meaning Republicans, if they win this seat, they've got a really good chance of picking up the Senate in two years. Absolutely. And every seat matters. This It, it matters actually even in this, this Congress, because uh, having 50 votes is, uh, is a lot less workable than having 51. There's a lot of things you can't do with just with just 50 votes, particularly if you have a mansion or cinema, for example, on on some of these issues, like for even even uh, getting rid of the filibuster, for example, there, if you're at uh, 51, now you only need either mansion or cinema. You may be able to roll one of the two. So, very important things could happen as a result that that could be detrimental to the country and to the long-term future of the republic. Uh, with the Democrats even having one extra seat. And then you're right, 2024 is also important, uh, building that majority. Republicans, if they take control, when you have uh, senators uh, like Murkowski and Collins and Romney, who are not necessarily reliable votes on conservative things, you need to have a margin. So even uh, same thing, having a, a one or two seat majority is not nearly as good as having a three or four seat majority if you have a good year in 24. So big stakes still. And we could see Democrats resign between then and now. Diane Feinstein, John Tester, they could they could resign before 2024. Very possible. Yeah. Uh, Senator, have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. God bless. No crooked, crooked establishment. None of that twisting the truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.